Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I have some tractors out in the field and I've got some more tractors here so we will have 10 tractors. I've got course play installed and I think it's that. Is it? No. No. Anyway, I've got <laughs> I've got course play installed um, even if I can't actually bring the um, thingy up for it at the moment. Um, I can't remember what it is, but what I got planned for doing the ploughing, it's not going to work anyway. I've installed a couple of other interesting little devices as well. We've got the Go Wild T Master, you know, the one that um, turns wood chips, manure and everything else into, um, it's not that one. I've also got Creator Tools, which does some very cool things. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this one here, you can turn just about anything into bales, so we'll probably try that one out. The creator tools, now this is really cool, okay? I can go and I can set my walking height up like this if I want to. I mean, I'm, I'm towering up above the world here, but I still get stuck on the fence. So, I might be able to see a long way up, but I still get stuck on the fence. There is a way to fly, except they haven't been able to figure out how to actually get that to engage yet. But, if I do this... And I can then press Z while I'm walking along and I can increase my walking speed. You go up to 21 times speed. So we can go along at a lovely rate like this. This is fantastic. And you press shift, you go faster again. Um, you can get over the fences. You've got to jump. Now, um, middle mouse button sets it back down to... Oh, I've still got that going way too fast. So if I press that one, that sets that back to normal. Um, then there is this other one. Now, I've bought a few bales here because I wanted to show you this bit. This is part of the Creator Tools. You can pick anything up. It gives you mu it's basically, it's muscle man mode. It's so that you can go and you can set a few things up. When you're, um, it's sort of, you know, for creators. So if I want to um, pick a few things up and move some bales around. Ooh, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Let's pick that one up and move it over here a little bit further. It does kind of grab still. But it's, it, it just works like everything else does in this game um so if i set that one down very carefully so i could go along and i could um move things around I could pick up two bales there at once chop them over there so yeah that's kind of thing you can do and also with the um the mouse over bit that's the go isle t master um mod it's part of it is that you can open the bales and in order to do that open fade bale i have to press n for that one so if i do that boom we get a whole load of straw. That's the bale being opened up. So if I go and get a baler, I could uh, close it all back up again if I wanted to. I'm probably not going to bother with that. Um, let's just pick these up and chuck them over there out the way. This is fantastic. And four bales. Yes, I can pick up four bales at once. I've just dropped them on my head. And those, I think it's about three bales for a ton, is it? Maybe it's four bales for a ton. I can't really remember now. Um... It's been a long time. I know that those bales are heavy anyway, so, um, yeah. My question for this week, what we are going to be doing is animals. The vote last week ended up being, you wanted me to do animals, but you wanted me to wait for a little while before I start doing them. So, the question is, what animals do you want me to do? Now, I've been told quite by quite a lot of people that the best way to do animals in Texas is to focus on cattle. There are sheep, there are pigs... You just don't get them in quantities that you, you would get cattle. There are cattle ranches in Texas where you look, you're looking at thousands. So if you want me to do animals, do you want me to do a mixture of all three animals? Do you want me to do just sheep, just cows, or just pigs? It's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. Now then, to do the teleport mod, I've got that one as well. Uh, what do I do? Remember, you can go everywhere. Ah, right. Okay, so if I do that, then I press F11. Now I can move my mouse around, and I want to go to field 18. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Everything on it, and we're here on field 18. Um, it dumps you in the middle of the field. Our tractor fleet is lined up down this end of the field. Um... I did take a look at using course play for this field. I also took a look at using um, the AI hired help to do this field. Neither of them is going to work for using these really small plows. We're going to have to use, we're just going to use standard in-game as it is, and we'll sort of work on it from there. So what I'm going to do 
is I am now going to get the rest of those tractors. Nope, not that way. I want to go this way. I'll get the rest of these tractors teleported up to the field so that they're ready. And we can then go and take a look at them. Um, we can get the ploughing started. I've got the uh, the truck that's up there. That one needs... I need to finish doing that now. Um, so I want to press 9 twice and then I press F11 so I can select the field. We jump to here. Is it? Oh, it goes to the exact point that I... If I click down here... Oh, oh yes! Okay, that's even better. That is, that's even better. That's brilliant. I love this mod. I love this mod. Thank you to everybody who suggested that I get it. Um, oh, that is brilliant. I love this. I love this thing. It's awesome. Let's go back to get the next one. Right, I'll, I'll get these two. I'll get them up there. I'll get things a bit uh, set up. And then we can start plowing that field. Right, the tractors are nearly ready. I will set up the rest of them on camera. I've kind of got figured out what we're going to do with that. Um, I'm just going to move this one over with the other seed drills, which is, they are actually they're quite a long way from here. You can see them just on the mini map there, um, right at the bottom. So we won't go all the way up there. We'll just go part way up there. All this open land here in front of me. I'm assuming that that is just a grass field that you can use or is that where the cows actually roam do they roam across that entire area or can we go in there and can we mow that i don't know i'm see i as i understand it a lot of texas is kind of uh, quite arid and dry is that right so you wouldn't get like thick lush um crops of grass from anything it would be definitely um kind of yeah uh not not lush and um loads of it yeah it, it quite a sparse sparse i'm not well i'm here trying to desperately to think of this word um thinking come on Fred, you need to think of this word otherwise you're just going to sound ridiculous and i ended up sounding ridiculous anyway um, so there we go um let me just take off it we these trailers have been updated by the way um they now ooh, i don't want to do that oh great so if i press g not only does it change the trailer but it also does the creator tools as well so um, is there a way to disable the create creator tools? We don't actually need to use them now. Um, it doesn't look like there's a way to disable them. I think you kind of use them in the background. This is going to... Actually, no, it's only going to be for this trailer. So I won't use the creator tools normally unless I'll... I'll actually, I'll change the... Um, if I change again and back. There we go. Um, what I'll do is I will go over them and... Um, reassign the key I think so we just come through here yeah what I'm thinking is we will I'm either gonna get a bigger combine and use bigger combines for um, everything that I need to do or I will modify these combines to hold considerably more crop Oop. it's only the outside bit of the headers that um, you can drive through so you can't drive through all of the headers that's all of those combines emptied now I know apart from that one now they're all empty right let's just move that one there and stop you and then we can go back down here Oop, wrong way these tractors are a little bit noisy but they're okay so we got one here one here one here this one here what I'm gonna do is gonna line them all up across the field and then we're just going to set the hired help going. So they'll each take a little section. I think this is the fastest way. I looked at doing course play and sort of moving them up and down. But the problem is if you're using course play to move them up and down, it's quite tricky to set it up. Um, I don't mind that bit so much. I could I can puzzle my way through it. It's just kind of knowing the width of the plough, which is 1.2 metres. We'd set it at 1 metre and then we'd just do that in multiples and sort of work our way across the field. It's just that when the tractors go to turn round, because the width that we're ploughing is so narrow we would end up um overlapping the runs when you turn around to come back so you just wouldn't be able to use course play to do it um the ai vehicle extension when you try to use that one that doesn't work either because it tries to go in all sorts of funny directions and um the pathfinding on it with ploughing is a little bit peculiar it doesn't help that the edges of these fields are slightly odd shaped they're not um the map maker, I think, was in a bit of a rush. So that's the impression I get, was the map maker did this one as quickly as they could because the edges of the fields are not very well defined. They are quite sort of um, 
patchy and blocky. Um, and also, we know for a fact that this map causes some serious lag issues with a lot of people. So, um, that's another indication that he, he or she did do it in quite a bit of a rush. Um, generally, I'm quite pleased with this map. I just don't like the way that we are having to run this on medium settings. So, let's get that one over there. And on to the next one. You know, I reckon we could probably put another six tractors on this job. Unless we, uh, we could always just spread them out a little bit more. We'll, we'll let them do their little sections. It's going to take, it's going to take a while to do this anyway. Um, what I'm going to need to do is set these tractors all with standard hired help rather than using the um, in-game hired help. Is this all ten of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes, ten tractors <laughs> ploughing in the fields. You know what? I think we actually should have these a little bit closer together. If we go back through them... Um, how close have we got these? These... No, I think that's probably okay. This one could come over a little bit. I'll get... I'll finish getting these lined up ready now. And then um, put them all on the correct setting for the hired help. And then we can get started. Okay, I think I've got it. They're, they're all here with engine on. So hopefully this is going to work. I want to flick through these... I need to go that way. Right, I want to flick through these as quickly as possible. So start, 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 start. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right, have they all start? Oh, no, 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 no. One of them didn't do it. Oh, no, this is the one that... This is the one that didn't start when he should have done. So I'm going to have to race along here and catch up a little bit. So I put him in the right place. Roughly about there. There we go. I oh, stopped again. Right, I, I need to get in... So he's going to have to have a little bit of a head start. He's the one that completed his task early. He shouldn't have done that. Right, stop there and go. Yes, that's roughly the right way. Yes! <laughs> oh, yes, we got 10 John Deers all ploughing this field. This is fantastic. Very noisy. Oh, this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Let's go back all the way through. There we go. Oh, yes. The line of them. This is Gorgeous, glorious, amazing and fantastic. This is what I wanted to do. This is brilliant. I mean, yes, ideally we should have used a much smaller tractor for this. Uh, well, not ideally. This is, if it was um, anything like the realistic, we would have used a smaller tractor. Um, but, yeah, who, who, who's worried about realism right now? This is awesome. Okay, we're just going to follow this for a minute because I'm curious what they're going to be like when they come to the other end of the field. Now, this is where having the medium settings is slightly irritating because of the fact that you have this little circle on it. Um, I think in our next episode, we're going to buy and start combining that field right in front of us. It's a bigger field. If you have a look here, um, we're in 18, field 17 up there. It's a slightly longer field, slightly bigger field. Um... What I was going to do with that one is we'll get the combines going. I'm actually going to change... I'll, I'll either modify those combines to be like 150,000 litre capacity or I'll find a different combine and use that instead um, so that they'll just be able... We can start them and they will just go and combine the entire field and then when they finish, we can unload it. I get the mother bin as well. People suggest I should use the mother bin. I'll stick that on a big tractor and we'll just run that one around. We'll use that one like the um, overloader. Um... And I think that will work quite nicely. So we can get Field 17 done. And then what I was going to do is we're going to get a small tractor and a small cultivator of some sort. I don't know what which one. And we're going to put it going in that field. Just one on its own. And we'll watch it over the next couple of episodes. And we'll see how long it takes to sort of work its way through that field. I think that is, is, is one of those little experiments that you kind of... You never actually want to do because you're not quite sure how long it's going to take and even thinking about doing such a thing is absolutely and utterly soul destroying. Right, now we have the test. We have ploughed a strip all the way up across the fields with our little one metre wide, well it's actually 1.2, three furrow ploughs. Uh, we could have had a smaller plough but quite frankly I thought that would have been ridiculous so that's why I didn't do it. Um, now they start turning. They all turn the same direction, including the one that... Oh, no. No! One tractor has gone the wrong way. Catastrophe! Actually, yeah, oh, no, that one's gone the right way. They've gone the right way. 
It's just one tractor up here that went the wrong way. And it's you. You, sir, have messed the entire thing up. What is wrong with you? So let's bring this one down here. I'm going to have to try and line him up and start him again. Is he going to work? Right, I think that one is working. He's got his beacons on and I can't turn those off now. Yes, I can. There we go. Right. It's messed the line up a little bit, but generally, I mean, the line is now sort of moved out ever so slightly anyway, but they are all going in the right direction. They've all moved over a little strip. This is awesome. I, I, I genuinely love the fact that this is actually working quite nicely. Course play and everything is great. I had a look at it and I, can pu I will be able to puzzle my way through it. Um, and it's going to be useful, but it's not going, it's, I'm not going to be able to do with it some of the things that I was hoping to do. One, one of the things that I was wanting to do is if you take a look in here, if we go to the mowers, those tractors are really noisy, aren't they? Um, uh, baling mowers, that's the one that I want. If we go to here, the Amazon Profi Hopper, let me buy that one a minute, okay. Back, back, and back out again. Right, uh, if I go this way, I should go to the Profi Hopper. Right, see this one here, lovely little machine, little mower. I was hoping to have a great big grass field and start it with this one and then start sort of going around the grass field. I'm going to drop this one up here. There we go. Um, start going around the grass field with the Profi Hopper. Um, and I was thinking we could have like a fleet of them, like 20 profi hoppers. You start it up, it goes along, it gathers up quite a bit of grass, and so put it going so that it does it with you know, course play does it, and once it's full, it then takes it back to a designated point and tips it all out, um, and then goes back again. And you'd have like this little swarm of them, like robots going all over the place. But I don't think course play is going to be able to do that. I don't. I think I'm sort of. One, I'm, I think I'm kind of expecting a little bit too much from course play for it to be able to do that. Plus, I don't know enough about it to be able to figure it out. Um, if anybody does know a great deal about course play, do you think that such a thing would be possible? Would it, would it actually be physically possible to do something like that with course play, or is that kind of is that really asking a little bit too much? I mean, this Amazon, the Profi Hopper is a very cool little machine, um, and yeah. So I, I was curious whether or not that would work. It was my grand idea for making silage, was to use profi hoppers to gather it all up and bring it in for us. I thought that'd be a really cool little thing to do. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't, I can't see it working. Um, now that I've sort of learned a little bit more about um, course play, I just don't see it being successful. Now, how are these going to work? They're all going, they are turning nicely. And hopefully they're all going to turn in the same direction. Yes, they're all turning. That one's turning, and they are getting a little bit tangled up in places, but generally speaking, we've got nice synchronized plowing that's working nicely. There's one over there that has now stopped. So we do have to nurse these little babies a little bit. Um, oh, that's the one that we kind of had to go rushing off and start up. You're going along. Why did one of them stop for a little while? Did he get caught up on the, the, the pack? There's one that stopped. Why have you stopped? Sir, I, I say, sir, what do you think you're doing? I think that he's um, not gone over far enough. Let's start him again. It might be because of the straw. Maybe it's bounced him over a little bit. Right, he's going. So we, are, we do kind of have to nurse these a little bit we, um, and help them out a bit. But generally using the standard in-game hired help you can have a fleet of John Deere tractors all working the plows now see this one here he seems to be going down almost exactly the same line that he went before that one's plowing that one's working really well so is that one and him so yeah they they do the overlap isn't very good in places and um, that it's not brilliant because the plow is so small it is causing a few little issues but generally it's carving a decent path um if we had a slightly bigger plow i think this would be more effective because you wouldn't have to nurse the tractors quite so much you could basically you could set them out in 
uh, evenly all the way across have all 10 tractors lined out across the field and you would have no issues whatsoever it would work really well but um how far are we we're about halfway along i just i'm i am genuinely loving this experience of doing this so i am going to stick with this for the rest of the episode um and then in our next episode we're going to be either sticking with those combines and they'll be of increased capacity so they can start over there the tractors will just kind of leave them going um, so that they can keep working and I want to start that new idea that I had over there. That field up there is, um, what is it, it's wheat. So we'll have more wheat that we can stick in storage. Um, hmm. I might leave the straw on the ground and we can take a look at some baling as well. It, we might do a bit of baling in our next episode. Probably be an episode after. I've um, There's... I, well, I, I don't know about using small bales. I was thinking about using small bales and like doing loads and loads of them, but that could end up being something that we regret doing because um, you don't really want to like overdo it with the, the bales on the map. There are too many objects, especially just how laggy this map is anyway. Um, that might end up being something that we seriously regret. So I don't think I'll go for small bales. Um, but yeah, I, I will think about that. We'll see about maybe doing a bit of bailing because I've had several people asking if we could do bailing. Um, so yeah, we'll take a look at that one. And we're going to do the turn again. It's like watching ballet, isn't it? It's brilliant. How many are going to successfully perform the turn this time? This guy. Um, these two have been all right. Some of them won't do it. Some of them will get stuck and they will go and turn around and go back the other way. That one is doing fine. This guy, he looks like he's lined up well. That one's lined up well. This one, yeah, he's done all right. We've got two more that are turning now. They, they're slowly sort of spreading out a little bit as they as their turns and so on, as they um sort of a little bit tangled up with each other. But generally speaking, this is brilliant. I am having so much fun with this. This has got to be the best. The, plowing is not a very exciting task. Um, I can understand why most places in the US no longer bother doing it. Because quite frankly, it's not a very exciting thing to do. Um, but I reckon if you guys were to start plowing like this again, this is what it used to be like. I had a description of a place that I used to work. It had this field. It's an enormous field. Massive. It's like a mile from one end to the other and half a mile wide. Now I realise that for people that live in areas like this that is kind of like your back garden and barely worth bothering with so yes I, I can appreciate that however in my part of the world a field that is a mile from one end to the other is just ridiculously oversized it's huge it's massive even for the parts and this is um, a part of the country where um, lots and lots of grain is produced um, it's in the south of England right in the middle of the country um, uh, about 25 miles from the coast so it's, it's um, there you, you get a lot of big fields it's this kind of big spread out and um, that's kind of uh, one of the the big grain producing areas of the country um, and it was there that we uh, that you had this field and the, what the, the guy that did the plowing he had a tractor that was actually uh, what did he run it was like a I think it was a John Deere 80 8200 or something used to be a 7700 and then he got upgraded to an 80 i think it was 82 something it wasn't an articulated tractor it was one that looked like this um and he used to run a, a nine furrow reversible plow and he did all the plowing on his own but when he first started on that farm they used to run gray fergies which is the te20 the gray massey ferguson and it was like one of the original tractors that had three-point linkage. Um, it's a very historic tractor. And he, just about any tractor enthusiast in the world will know what a Grey Fergie is. Um, it's a very, very popular um, tractor. It did loads of stuff. And loads of places had them. They were hugely popular. They, the farm, when he first started working there, had um, 30 grey fergies at 30 of them and when they went out to do this field and, and usually they would be split up into two maybe even three groups and they'd work on the fields this field the big field the one that was a mile from one end to the other all 30 tractors would go out to that same field 
all together. He said they would go out in the morning, they would, in the yard, they would all service their tractors, diesel up, check oil, check their plows over, make sure everything was absolutely perfect and tip top, and then they would start their tractors up. And he said that they wouldn't all like start randomly. It was something that they all prided themselves on in having this sort of this thing run. There's a tractor there that's turned around already. He's gotten bored halfway across the field, not even halfway, and he's decided he's going to go back the other way now. Um, and yeah, that's what they did. They would uh, they'd start up the tractors and away they would go. And um, uh, oh, sorry, that before they started up the tractors, the foreman would that they would make sure everything was ready and then the foreman would s yell out to them that they had to start and he would sort of big, big big he said that it was a huge great big burly fellow and he would bellow out get ready by your tractors and then they'd all get onto their track they'd all get ready by their tractors and he'd say mount up boys <laughs> and they'd all get onto the tractors and away they would go now i this guy was, you know, known for telling a, uh, a story, like me, really. Um, so, exactly how much of that is entirely accurate, I'm not sure. Why are you going the other way, really? I don't want you going the other way halfway across the field. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, it's because these plows are so um, narrow that we're getting this little issue where they keep turning around. Um, I'm going to carry him on from here, and hopefully that's just wide enough to... Yeah, he's okay. He can carry on. And so, yeah, they'd all climb onto their tractors and they'd start up. And they had a very specific order that they went out. It was all done in seniority. So the oldest, most experienced plowman, he was the one that went first. And out they would go, a line of 30 tractors. And he was the, um, the apprentice. He was the new lad. So he was at the back. He was right at the back. And he said it was such an amazing sight to see. He'd go out in the morning. 30 tractors all in a line all with their plows he said they'd get out to that field and the experienced plowman he would set his one in the ground and um he would line up and it was his line that set the the rest of the lines across the field to exactly and to be absolutely straight and they took absolute pride in their work and if he didn't cut the straight line across the field though it would have just been eternal shame for him for, from then on because oh, for the, at least the rest of the year because he would have seen it in the field and it was a dead straight line you could look along that line and you could see a mouse running along it halfway up across the field if you could see a mouse from half a mile away um so yes they would go out and he would start up and he'd start working his way up across the field and the others would just drop in the furrow behind him and they would keep going and he said because he was at the back he got to see all these tracks in front of him all working their way up across the field and then when they got up the other end, they would stop and they would have a break. Um, because by the time you travelled a mile in a little tractor like that, you'd done a bit of time. So it was time to just stop and have a, a quick cup of tea. And then they would turn around and they would go back the other way and then they'd have their dinner. And then um, an afternoon meal and then their tea. And then um, another line up across the field. It was getting dark and they would go in and have a supper. And it would take about a week to plough this field, even with 30 tractors on it. And he, t he said, it's fantastic using the new tractor. He, I mean, he is this, this is the guy I did tell you about him before. He'd spend all his time asleep in the tractor. And then when the tractor reached the end of the field and bumped through the mark that he'd left there, it'd wake him up. He'd turn around, he'd go back the other way. He would plough for 20 hours a day because he spent most of his day asleep. Um, and he said, you know, it's really comfortable. The tractors are amazing and everything. But oh, he, he didn't have to miss those days when there were 30 tractors going up across the field he said that was just something to behold and it's a sight that you, you never really see these days so we have kind of recreated it here except that we've used large John Deere's rather than anything else we might try this again with smaller tractors to try and reenact that famous thing that the guy uh, Jack he was called told me all about um, but anyway, my question for this week, if we take a look at the map here, we are going to be doing some animals. We have cows here, we have sheep here, and we have pigs up here. Do you want me to do all three of these animals? Do you want me to do just pigs, just sheep, or just cows? It's your vote, it's your game. Head into the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why, and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Now remember, this series completely unrealistic we don't worry about get it we, we we're not going to get hung up on realism anything like that as you can see um 
if there is anything you would like me to test and try out, we will try to do it. Some people have, uh, well, two people now have suggested um, trying to run a tractor to the very end of its working life on the map. I don't know if we can do that or not. Because of the um, the tools that we've got, we can speed time up a lot faster. We can go 240, 19, 20, 105, uh, 15,360 times. So we, we do have the ability to speed time up quite a bit more than normal. See, we can go, we can really get going with time. Look at that, whizzing through. Um, so yeah, we, we've got the ability to speed time up by a very, very long way. And so we could very well use that, but I want to... Um, I'm not going to use that right now. We'll, we'll look at that another day. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode, please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.